Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this earrings, I'm going to be using some cardboard and I do have a day where I'm showing you like where I got this from. I'm also going to be using two hole punchers, a bigger one and a smaller one. From the bigger one, I'm going to be punching four circles and from the smaller one, two. Then I'm going to be working on the wings and for this, I made a mini template. I took a picture of this one if you want to check it out. It's on my blog down below. Tracing the shape of that on my cardboard once and then I'm going to be drawing the mini wing down below. It just ignore the one on top in there then once cut it i'm going to be tracing the shape of this whole thing again and then i'm going to be turning my cardboard upside down and then tracing this shape twice and the reason i turned this is because the other side of my like cardboard is yellow for earring i'm going to be using my four big circles my tiny one my wings and some eye pins now I do have a DIY showing you how to store or organize your jewelry supply and this is why my little bag looks like this. I'm going to be taking one eye pin, my round nose pliers, and I'm going to be adding another eye pin on the other edge. I do have a DIY showing you how I do eye pins step by step. For this, measuring how much space of my bigger circles I need, basing myself from that, going around with my wire, creating my loop, and then just cutting the excess. I'm going to be turning one of my big circles around and then just glue my double eye pin once that's dry i'm gonna be gluing my wings on top of like the big circle for the i thought it was called a tail but i searched online and turns out it's called abdomen for that part for my abdomen well not mine but the dragonfly's abdomen i'm gonna be gluing the rest of my circles working with my eye pin where the loop is not facing me gluing first in the top like from the back like this then on the bottom like the mini one and then the two in between there i'm going to be painting this using my white acrylic paint and my a tiny brush giving this a few coats then i'm going to be adding some shine to it using my scoopy gloss adding a few coats of this as well letting it dry in between coats now it's time to assemble the whole thing for this i'm going to be using some pliers for the abdomen i'm going to be opening the loop placing the wings closing my eye pin and this is how my ear wires work just opening them from behind and then just place your shape through there but yeah guys this is pretty much what this ones look like i have them in display right now on like this display earring that i just made that ruby on i made some changes to it because it used to be clear as far as for the earrings i love them this is an inspiration by the way this is not my idea based on some earrings i saw on pinterest adding my own twist to it these earrings are so much fun to wear move beautifully when you like talk and just move your head and unless you look really close i think most people won't be able to tell this is cardboard nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know they're gonna know but yeah, if you go for them, just wear them with like ponytails or just messy buns because with your hair down, they will get stuck. Plus, just make them like the focal point. But yeah, hopefully you like them as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and comment down below. Check out more earrings that I have on my channel and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!